This is Kevin Mao, and today we're going to drink some Six Point Sensei Harvest. This is a wet hop beer. They make a big deal out of it being wet hop. And the idea is that the hops are super fresh. They pick them, they rush them to the brewery, and they put them right in there. And it should be very aromatic. Right after the harvest, we rush delivered sacks of seedless hop cones, hand selected to be the most lush, the most floral, and the most fragrant flowers. And put these wet hops directly into this brew. With Sensei Harvest, it beers agriculture. It's mad scientist. Six point. They don't give you a lot of information about their beers when you go to their websites. You don't really know what kind of hops any of that stuff is. But they make some really good beers. Um, their Righteous Ale was my go-to beer for a couple of years there. Um, I haven't been able to find it lately. Uh, did the three beans like that. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones I've done. Oh, resin. I love resin. So they do some really good beers. They've been around 10 years now. And um, they're actually, I believe, in Brooklyn. But we don't have a lot more to talk about because we don't have a lot of background. So let's go give it a crack and see what it looks like. And then uh, we'll go from there. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And leave comments. We're always happy to respond to comments because I love talking about beer. And I am getting floral hints coming up from this already. It is a fairly interesting color. It looks... It's, I mean, it's super clear. You can see right through it. You can read a newspaper through it practically. But I wouldn't call it red. I wouldn't call it orange. I wouldn't call it yellow. Uh, I don't know. Maybe amber. It had quite a bit of nice white fluffy head on it. It is dissipating at this point. It's a real low uh, ABV. It's 4.7% alcohol, so should be a good session beer. And they do come in six packs, these little 12-ounce six packs. So let's do the aroma. This is what this beer should be all about. And yes, pine and grass and resin. Yeah, a little bit of dankness. Again, uh, I keep going back to resin and that pine, but there's there's something in there that I can't seem to quite put my nose on. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit. Maybe it's kind of like a piney grapefruit. Maybe it's kind of the combination of those two. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Very, very crisp. Yeah, it's really sharp, acidic on the back of the tongue. You get a little bit of malt up front. You're getting some bitterness on the back end, though. It's only it's 50 IBU, so it's a it's a pale ale, so it's a fairly high IBU for a pale ale. But unlike the aroma, I'm not really picking up much in the way of different hot flavors. Again, a little bit of bready malt. Maybe a hint of pine on the front of the tongue. Maybe a little bit of blood orange but again very faint hints overall it, it's kind of a nice pale ale even I mean it, it finishes a little bitter but it's almost like a lager with more body to it with a little bit more oomph to it uh, nice drinking beer boy I tell you you get used to 16 ounce bottles 22 ounce bottles 12 ounce doesn't go that far uh, Again, aroma-wise, it's a top-notch beer. Taste-wise, eh, nothing wrong with it. I got, I have one more. I'll drink it. I'm not going to dump it down the drain. Um, I guess we'd call it a B beer, but a low B. So we'll give it a score of 82. Till next time, keep drinking.